What's up, YouTube? Derek here, bringing you guys a quick midweek find. I actually found these on Monday, but I'm just having a chance to make a video. Um, two of these came from the outlet, and one of these came from a local, well, yeah, I'll say local store, Second and Charles, within 20 minutes. Um, well, I'll start with the big purchase. This was $34.99, and it's a system uh, that I didn't have yet, and that is a Wii system here. And it's fully in there. I mean, hell, I don't even know if this thing was ever used. It's still got the baggies. Like, the power supply, I'm pretty sure it's never been opened. Um, but it was marked for, you know, as you can see. I don't know if you can see on the tag there. $34.99. You know, and I'm, I know some people will be like, why, why would you pay $35 for a Wii? For some reason, you can put this bundle on eBay. Or any Wii bundle. Even the non-backwards compatible ones. And they will sell for $75 to $100, you know, plus shipping. I don't know why, but it's all in there. Even the Wii Sports is in there. And I was really, really happy to get this for $35. It's a system I didn't have. And it's one I've wanted because, you know, I just got it. And I, I think I'm going to keep it until I find one with a manual. But I did just get that Mario Galaxy 2, and I want to play it again. So... Very cool, thirty-five dollars for that. I was more than happy to pay. Um, but that wasn't the only thing. Um, and he said that was there on Saturday, but I know for a fact that it wasn't because we were there on Saturday, and I know for a fact I would have bought it. Um, but that wasn't the only thing. I looked in the glass case, and they put out a bunch of PlayStation games. Um, Including this whole trilogy of games, um, but this was the only one worth buying. Uh, it was marked at twelve ninety nine, which is about half of what it's worth. It's a game I never had as a kid that I always wanted to play, and I still haven't played it to this day. And uh, that is uh, Spyro the Dragon, a black label, complete and actually in really nice shape. I was super happy to get that, adding some quality PS1 to the collection. You know, I just got that Final Fantasy IX also at the outlet like last week, so that was awesome. They had a Greatest Hits Year of the Dragon, which I actually already have to, to sell. Um, I probably should have grabbed it because it was still a pretty good price. I could have sold it. If it's still there when I go back, maybe I'll buy it. And they had... Um, I think the other Spiral game, but it the, the the manual was jacked. Like, the front page was ripped off. It was in terrible shape. But, uh, yeah, twelve ninety nine for that. Very cool. Very glad to get that. <coughs> um, so, on the way back from the outlet, uh, I went to the Second and Charles because it's on the way home. And, uh, coincidentally, I found another Dreamcast game. Um... Both of my Dreamcast games now have come from there, but it's a game that I've always kind of wanted to try. It's regarded as one of the better Dreamcast games, and that is Evolution, the World of Sacred Device. I paid 15 It's only like a $15 game, but I, I bought it because it had everything in here with the little warranty registration and this piece of paper. Like, if you boot it up and experience a black screen and all that. So... You know, $15 for a fully complete copy in really nice shape. Uh, I was cool with. Uh, from what I understand, this is uh, kind of on the GameCube. I think they... they. I know there's Evolution Worlds, but from what I understand, it's like not the full version of this, but it's all of the second one. But I just assume get them on the Dreamcast and play them on that. No, it's very glary. But very, very cool. Uh, so 15 for that. Um, and that's it. That that just some quick finds for the week. The only reason I'm making this video now is because um, I actually need to put them away because uh, I'm rearranging the room and need to put them somewhere. So very cool. Uh, I don't know when I'll have another video. I still have that other pickups video that I never uploaded, which you'll probably see at some point. Um, but it's supposed to rain for like the next six or seven days. So. Uh, garage sales not probably gonna happen this weekend flea markets probably not gonna happen this weekend um, I probably will go back to the outlet uh, maybe tomorrow um, you know because they put new stuff out every day like I said this these two the Wii and this were definitely not there on Saturday um, if it was closer I'd go every day but it's like half an hour to get there so anyway that's it guys I'll see you all later